Hello and welcome to another update video about Say. Say shows some weakness and is moving back into the support zone. So no breakout yet. And um, yeah, today it broke out of the channel to the downside as well. So we are likely dealing with a more complex WXY structure here in this correction. Good news is the pullback looks really corrective. So the next low could be the last one. We already saw a few days ago that the market failed to rally in an impulsive fashion. Then it fell back into a potential diagonal, but broke micro support. I can't remember where that micro support level was exactly. I think it was around 66 cents, but broke that. And that's typically a first warning that the upside follow through is not going to, to play out basically. And then now uh, as we're heading into the weekend, the market broke um, broke down, basically broke out of the channel there that we had on the chart to the downside like an ascending broadening wedge pattern um that is simply a delay of basically the move to the upside in my opinion 52 cents is going to be the next main fibonacci support level and we also have some structural support probably in the region around 56 56 and a half cents here the previous a wave low now in this video we can talk about some targets for that move to the downside and it's worth to understand what the relevant support level is as well. Yes, we've got 52 cents as next main support. Below that level, still 44.2. But that, to be honest, would be very deep for a wave 4. Cannot rule out that we'll go there, but um, it would be a very, very deep wave 4. Okay, so basically at the moment, we are still in the same situation in which we've been, um, yeah, sort of end of January, you know, middle of, middle of January, end of January, as we came down here into the support area for the first time. The um, support area is well defined, I just mentioned it, but we can also calculate targets based on the wave W as well as the wave A. So let's start with the wave W. We can take the length of that wave W, we go to the high of the X wave, and then it gives us several Fibonacci extension levels to watch potentially now for this decline. They are just levels that should be seen as like additional levels, additional micro support levels in addition to the general support range. Here we have 57.76, 52.4 cents, 52 basically good overlap there with that 38.2 retracement, 49.5 cents and 44.9 cents, which is a good overlap with the 50% Fibonacci level down there. So they are additional levels to watch. We could then also add or at least check the levels if we measure the length of the A wave. Then we go to the high of the B wave. And here it shows us the 48.5 cent level as relevant level. I'm not going to add that as well because it's basically very, very close to that 1.38 extension and we'll just have too many, too many lines on the chart. But if we just go by, okay, wave A and wave C, it should send us into the lower range actually, but 52 cents is the next main support. Should offer some support there. We'll see. Um, at the moment anyway, there is no confirmation a low has formed yet. Not after a three wave top and a break below micro support. So the idea is, okay, we go down lower. That needs to be the mindset until we see a first small five wave to the five wave move to the upside. Um, a break above the B wave high at 75.5 cents would be a first suggestion that this wave 4 has formed a low. And then obviously the breakout above this sort of 87, 88 cent level will be a strong signal. But for now, nothing really happened. So attempted a breakout, failed, but has another chance soon. The um, importance of Basically, watching for a five wave move up here is stressed, obviously, by this development because the rally that we've seen was only in three waves. Um, and whenever we only have three waves, it can still easily, easily fail. So what else could happen? Could it still turn around from here? I mean, yeah, you know, it could. But the bottom line is we're now back in the support area. So from anywhere here, of course, it could it could start to move. But the break below micro support as well as the break out of the wedge to the downside would suggest that we first will see or should see, I shouldn't say will, should see a break below that um, A wave low. Yeah, 
um, because it seems to turn into a WXY structure, quite a complex, messy correction. But again, good news, it is looking very corrective. So what we see here essentially are these um, overlapping structures that are typical for uh, correction. Looking at some indicators, so if I go to the one hour, um, okay, one hour is not so useful, maybe the four hour. See, the four hour is nearly oversold again. Um, price was in that situation already here. Attempted a breakout, failed, okay. We're getting to a similar situation again. Let's see if the market can um, get oversold again. It's just typically, it's not a buy signal necessarily, but it's typically where the market might find additional support then, you know, an additional, basically a bounce. Um, oops, one second. Basically where the market might see a bounce and um, yeah, then we have to watch for divergences, which at the moment are just not there. So looking at the daily chart, oh, there is, okay. Daily chart just only just now broke into the bearish range when it hit the um, support zone for the first time. So there's nothing bullish yet visible on the daily. Have to be a bit more patient here. But yeah, basically no sign that this correction is over, not after the break back into support. So I'm gonna watch for signals if the market um, tries to form lows in this support region. I'll keep you updated. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also, make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.